John Jordan is here. That's Last right. night, the big uh, Golden Globes. You watched, right? I've been. Did I watch? Yeah, I watched. And I've been writing. And I was on Twitter and Glitter and Flitter. And I mean, I've had no sleep at all. Yeah. So. so you're into it. You don't just consider Golden Globes like inside baseball. It, it, you know, the Golden Globes are the best party in Hollywood. They're known to be that. And I've yeah. been several times. I went with Hank Winchester one year, and nice. that's another story. But uh, I think we're banned. <laughs> uh, he can talk his way into any party, so Love it. let Hank help Good you. Good to know. <laughs> Crash parties. Good to know. Good to know. But it was a great fashion spectacle, as it yeah. always is, yeah. and not a lot of misfires. Uh, I thought that, you know, a lot of people looked really great. All right. Okay. All right. So well, this is kind of like red the carpet, pre right? to the Oscars, right? Right. So what did you think last night on the red carpet? Because that's where we want to yes. focus. Okay. First up, uh, Brie Larson. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She had on a gold metallic Calvin Klein number mm -hmm. that Smoking. really was a, a piece of architecture wow. more so than, you know, fashion. And she actually needed help to get up on the stage. Uh, I can't imagine what this thing weighed, but... I suspect that you know when you take that off, it pro you probably don't have to put it on a hanger. And you mean probably metal, doesn't... not just metallic-looking fabric. This yeah. was it's metal. metal. Yes, yeah. it is yeah. really spectacular. A dress like that can be a problem sometimes because it can be too spectacular. Yeah. But it was simple enough in its line so that it was really flattering. I thought it was so cool. Very cool. I love it. Well, let's talk about your favorite, Jennifer okay. Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence looked really great. And this is I would call this like a tomato red, really bright red, kind of like the color that you're wearing, Tati. Um, and this is a column dress by Dior, but as you can see here, there are some cutouts, some discreet cutouts that show a little bit of flesh on the mm -hmm. side. Just waist, you know, not cleavage, not belly button, just, you know, mm. very, very cool. Yeah, she did look beautiful indeed. And so Jennifer Lopez, J Lo, and you're giving her props for something other than her outfit, right? Well, I actually like her outfit, and usually she is always on my worst dress list because she overdoes it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And like you know, too much skin, and and she did not do that. Um, this is John Batista Valley, and she looks beautiful and ladylike and bright, mm -hmm. and I really liked her makeup too. Her makeup Gorgeous. was. Very, very, a uh, very subtle eye, and then a dark lip. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you do a dark lip, if you do dark eyes, and right. it's it's too Overkill. goth looking. Yeah. But yeah. I thought she looked amazing, and it's the first time I've said so. Well, I, you know, I love <laughs> how she paired that dark lip with that outfit. That's not something I would have done. And right? that's that's what I yeah. like. It's unexpected, sort of that eggplant colored lipstick yeah. with that bright mustard color. And you that's know what's right. interesting about this discussion is that coming up this Friday night is the charity preview. So oh, yeah. we have a lot of ladies in Detroit who are already thinking, and men I guess as well, yeah. but ladies thinking about an outfit and how does their makeup work with mm -hmm. it and what to do and how to go too smoky on the eyes. Look at and, me. Right. Yeah. And the, the Golden Globes <laughs> on uh, Local 4 are always, you know, prior to charity previews. Yeah. Mm. So it's a good place for fashion inspiration. Yes, take notes. Take, take All right. Notes. So the worst dress? Misfires. Uh -uh. I thought Ava Longoria's dress was just way too complicated. Some people like this, but, you know, in the fashion press, she got a lot of what? flack for mm. this. There's just too much going on. There's, you know, cutouts and jeweled embellishment and then, uh, you know, floral embellishment. Mm -hmm. And you, just, you don't know where to look. And it's a, you know, it's, it's a nice, simple form, but she just needed to take some of the detail off for that to work. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think Tim no. Gunn would tell the kid dressmakers, go back to the starting yeah. point. Now, seriously, you know, I, my, I think so too. my daughter's in fashion merchandising, uh, you know, she's going to school, and, and so uh, that show's always on. I'm always walking right. by, and I see them watching it, and I'll always say, oh, I won't watch, but then I sit down and I watch. So I'm starting to know what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. just saying, go back to the drawing board. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like it's appropriate for something else. As Tim would say, oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Well, let's talk about men. Okay. Let's just start with Will Smith. Uh, Will Smith, and Will was dressed by a Nominated. former Detroiter, a very dear okay. friend of mine, and I'm not going to say who it is because she's so discreet about her clientele. Oh, okay. But um, he looks magnificent, and he's wearing Tom Ford. Okay. And uh, Tom Ford was there last night, too, actually, with Lady Gaga. Uh, nice. He, he, his face was looking a little tight to me, but ah. Will looks perfect, <laughs> and Will is quite the fashion plate. He always gets it right. Um, I think that... 
He dresses in an interesting way, but it's never over the top. But for those without a discerning eye like yours, what is so different and interesting? There's Matt Lauer, well, square there, pocket yeah. square. What's the difference? What's so interesting about his tux? Tom Ford does very classic proportions, and they're yeah, kind of 1970s inspired. He doesn't do like a super skinny lapel. He I does see. a full lapel, and that's kind of been one of his trademarks. Uh -huh. And it's very flattering on a lot of guys. Yeah, and a bigger tie it looked like too, a tied a bow tie, so yep. is that more 70s as well, or is that just I, I, always I wouldn't in? call it 70s, I'd call it classic. You yeah. know, it's more yeah. about okay. classic fit than it is about trend. Okay. Okay. All right, and yeah. next up? Next up we have uh, Eddie Redmayne, and he was, he's a magnificent actor, but he has also just been named uh, UK Best Dressed Man wow. of the Year. Okay. Wow. And uh, he's done campaigns for Burberry. I suspect that might be what he's wearing. But he's in a kind of a cool, slim tux with some little sort of polka dot mm -hmm. applique, mm -hmm. but very, very subtle detail. Okay, well, he's wearing that All dress. right, so we've got the that. Knights Dynamic duel, Ryan Gosling and uh, Brad Pitt. Yeah, I'm like kind of irritated when I look at the two of them. Why? What's wrong? Just, uh, well, I always feel, you know, homely. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, I'll point out something. Um, they look great, obviously. Men's haircuts are getting longer. Uh -huh. That uh, era of the super cropped mm -hmm. side, kind of like what Sam Smith still mm -hmm. wears, everybody in Hollywood is now growing their hair out longer. And it doesn't mean that it has to be long. It just needs to be softer yeah. lines and those yeah. shaved sides, it's really gotcha. dated looking. So what about the best dressed? What's old is new? And I mean Harrison Ford, right? Well, I... I I think he looks really, really great, and I think he's a, 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 a an icon, obviously. Yeah. Right. Here's what I don't like is the earring. He has an earring? He has an <laughs> earring, and he always wears it, and I just think that I used to wear an earring 30 years yeah. ago. <laughs> You know, there's a, there's a time that you have to right. sort of, like, retire your rock and roll uh, you know elements right. and I just think he's such a he's aged so well and I just think that the earring is kind of needy looking or just so. take it off for the Golden Globes and wear it at a more appropriate time see but wasn't that always a uh, specific statement about your independence so if you're still feeling that way I say move to the groove okay so well, I'm gonna bring you an earring now <clears throat> well, I only wear clip-ons clip -ons. So. Right. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can manage that <laughs> thanks John it's good to see you uh, don't forget you can get more from John uh, out of his jammies too in weeks to come getting